Let's close our eyes and pray. Lord, we live in a world of change. Every day is filled with uncertainty. We are surrounded by twists and turns of life. And we often feel we have little or no control over things that happen to us. Lord, we come to stand in your eternal presence. We come to you to find ourselves, to find our way, to find hope. We come to you because Christ, you first came to us. Amen. Before I go on to the story of uh, uh, Vincent's mom, it was a long story. If you all read about Second World War, it was during the rape of Han Ching. I remember that because my boss, Professor Abai Ku, who is from Penang Preschool, also came back at that time. And while I, I was working with him, he told me this. There was a lot of healing in and around China at that time. But thank God, Vincent, uh, Vincent's dad, Vincent's granddad and grandma, the late grandma, they came to Malaysia. And it was on one of these trips back to Malaysia. There was a, the sea was very rough. A grandma said, pray to the Lord and promise the Lord that if they arrived, in Malaysia safely, I will encourage my husband to do full-time work for the law. You see, her late husband was a doctor in Hokkien. So, since I make a promise, when they arrive safely in Taiping, they Orleans uh, late mom encouraged the husband to be a, a, a preacher and he did what in the Taiping Gospel of now Malaysia Taiping is a small country and life to him was very tough. In order to sell a Bible, he has to travel miles and miles. And even then, they find it hard to sell a Bible. But fortunately, there was a British evangelist, Mr. Mark. Mr. Mark was preaching while well, was actually uh, doing his service in gospel or typing. And he didn't speak in English. He spoke in Hokkien, perfect Hokkien. And most of the evan evangelists, you find that those who come from China, even they are all you know, British, but they speak Chinese, perfect Chinese. So, here goes the story of Florence and my late wife, Julia. They were very close. They attend church, and Mr. Mark liked them very much. You know, he used to carry them, sit on the lap, and talk to them, you know. And Florence and my late wife, they were, you know, as kids, their, their hearts were not in the words of the Lord. 
their heart was somewhere else. You know where? So Mr. Mark used to watch them, watching them all the time. Why are you too impatient? <laughs> because they were waiting for the service to be over and run to the theater for matinees. They like to watch film shows, right? but they are kids. So, both Florence and my late wife, they were very close. When Vincent dead, Vincent we is dead, uh, the late dead, be him, came down to Singapore. I think he brought my wife first down, and then after one he also Florence. And they were both in Singapore. They are very close to each other. They love each other very much. And they used to go out together shopping and going for refreshment and so on always together. And she for love my late wife very much and my wife late wife love her very much. And it is also when during the younger days she likes to play chess and she likes to play chess with her late father. She used to beat the late father in chess. <laughs> and and her, she will always, the father always wanted to challenge her. She was actually the apple of the father's eye. And now, joyfully, she will meet my late wife up in heaven. And once again, together, it will be there. Thank you for listening.